Today I'm going to tell you how YouTube literally changed my life with less than a thousand subscribers. First of all, YouTube really got me over the fear of failure. And I'm going to start with a quote, you miss 100% of the shot you don't take. There are two factors when it comes to fear of failure, external factors and internal factors. Let's start first with external factors. That's when you fear the judgment of your friends, your family, your colleagues, your spouse, your partner. On the other hand, there's also internal fear and this is associated with imposter syndrome. You feel that you're not good enough. I started this YouTube channel back in 2017 and I was really crippled by fear because I didn't think I had what it takes to actually be a good content creator. So going back on why YouTube actually healed my fear of failure, YouTube allows you to just come and edited and filtered and be able to share your authentic self with others. We were just viewing this content as, some, uh, as, as stuff that we we would take with our own cameras so uh, looking at these videos that we were sharing with our friends and things that we were doing on a daily basis i mean to the majority of the people out there they weren't that interesting but i think uh because it was personal to your family and friends it was interesting so you had these people sharing these clips with one another and it meant something to them people really don't care about your aesthetic who you are, what you bring to the table on YouTube. They just want to see you as you are. How to do your hair to argue with Ryan Gosling for two hours. Here's the ingredients for this hair recipe. I want you to stay. This blush looks like this on someone who has darker skin. My literal ass, but I guess we're gonna find out. And this is why I stopped comparing myself to others. And I'm just like, hey, let me just go on a platform, start posting and start enjoying to be on this platform. You are contributing to the community. You are bringing value. You're not trying to rack up followers, fans. People who consume YouTube content, most people have time. They're already used to spend 10, 10, 15 30 even one hour on a video on instagram and tiktok you have to follow protocols crack down the algorithm to build a community that will always be there like your army your fans when you are on tiktok and instagram you are trying to grasp the attention of people who cannot even stay three seconds on a video so i'm currently in the process of editing the video hence why i look like a rat you think you just fell out of a coconut tree as an example, let's take this particular video. In other words, YouTube made me realize that my content actually doesn't suck. It's just that I'm working against algorithm and I feel like a lot of small creators will feel the same. So if you're trying to build something as a creative, I will recommend you to start on YouTube for your own mental sanity. And people love the rawness. There is Dobby, this Dobby guy. He was just posting videos about nature, his dog. And then he did a video talking about how he was a neurosurgeon. He went 11 million views. Literally, this is one of the reasons why people are just connecting easily on YouTube. People don't care. As long as you bring value, people will subscribe. To summarize, because I've been comparing a lot YouTube with Instagram and TikTok. For me, the way I see YouTube is living a slow life. Instagram and TikTok are literally fast life. It takes time to create long form content and people appreciate that. Another way to compare YouTube, Pinterest versus Instagram, TikTok is that YouTube, Pinterest represent a farmer's market. When you go to a farmer's market, you take your time. You go in between the alleys, you smell the flowers, you talk with the vendor, the farmers, you say hi to the little kid. There's like some show happening. You smell a candle. You're really taking your time. You're not going to the farmer's market to hush hush put things in your grocery bag. You take your time. It's an activity. It's pleasant. Instagram TikTok is a grocery store. When you go to grocery shopping, you need to be quick efficient you probably have a list where there's like coupons you go at a right hour because you don't want to go grocery shopping but there's too many people you don't want to stand at the line in front of the cashier you really want to make it efficient so that brings me to the third way of how youtube changed my life an algorithm cannot hinder my creativity youtube had those how it was created originally transpires till today i actually post youtube short content and I'm so surprised to see the kind comments that I receive all the time. People are literally coming here on YouTube short just being nice. They are humans. Like when you go on Instagram, you're wondering if those people are reals or they're bots. I don't know why the algorithm on Instagram will allow certain the comments. 
to be on the post. So we came at the end of this video to summarize YouTube changed my life in three ways with less than a thousand subscribers. First, I got over the fear of posting. Secondly, feel like I can come as I am myself, my authentic self. And third, I really don't care about an algorithm. As a creative, I was really impacted positively because I see growth in my YouTube. Like my YouTube shorts are actually doing really well because I show as my authentic self and I really love sharing beauty, skincare, and sometimes funny videos. Sometimes it will do really well, sometimes it will flop, but I don't care. Like I say, we come and contribute to the community here. We are not into a rat race. I would love to read your comments to read about your own experience because I feel like having a discussion in the comment section will actually edify all of us as creative. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video and see you into the next one.